ladies and gentlemen in part one of uh, this uh, video series on size and type of orders in the stock market we introduced ourselves to um, the basic type of orders that can be placed in the stock market now based on that understanding it is time for us to take a little quiz to see how much of that we retain and can apply in a given situation so let us deal quickly with a few questions here the first one here is that the current market price is $30 per share and you are instructing your broker to buy some shares for you at a price of $28 or below. Now we are required to indicate the type of order that we are placing with our broker and if you remember the type of orders from the first video in the series you are going to immediately come up with an answer which is going to be that you have placed a limit buy order with your broker and you have also specified a limit price of $28. Now question number two is that the current market price is $30 per share and is falling. What you want to do is you want your broker to wait till the price trend is reversed but the price keeps falling and you are worried that you may incur a substantial loss if you wait too long. Now what type of order can you think, uh, can you think of to curb your losses? Since you want to curb your losses, my friends, the obvious answer is going to be to place a stop sell order with your broker. Now, um, if, you're, if you ask your broker to wait till the price hits $26 and then sell for $26.50 and above, what kind of an order you have placed? Now, if you will realize what you have done here in this order is you have specified this $26 as your stop top price because you have asked your broker to wait till the price hits 26 so this number here becomes your stop price and then further you are instructing your broker to sell for 2650 and above and this number 2650 becomes your um, limit price so all in all then this order becomes a stop limit order to sell with a stop price of 26 dollars and a limit price of 26 dollars and 50 cents now the next part of the question is if the price of the share really goes to 26 that it, it hits the that is it hits the stop price level but then rather than rising it continues to decline then what is going to happen so once the stop price uh, once the stock price hits um, 26 dollars well uh, one requirement is going to be met with but the second requirement that you have specified is that the share should be sold for a price which is at or above 2650 and rather than rising if the price continues to decline then what is going to happen is that your uh, stop limit order is not going to be executed and you are going to find yourself in a position where you are stuck with a share that is continuing to lose value now let us look at question number three here you sold some shares short at the rate of 29 dollars per share by the time you are ready to cover your position you observe that the price is rising and then the question is what type of order can you place think about it i'll be quiet for a few moments then i'll give you the answer then you can check what you thought if it is the same as the answer that i'm going to give you ladies and gentlemen you short sold some shares so ideally when you cover your position you would have expected the price of the stock to have fallen but instead if the price is rising you are going to want to uh, curb your losses and therefore you are not going to wait too long and that is why you are going to tell your broker to wait up till a certain level and then if the price continues to rise just buy the stock and cover your position so therefore the type of order that you can place is going to be a stop order to buy now let us say if your stop uh, if you place a stop limit order instead to buy at 31 or below once the price reaches uh, 30 dollars uh, and what happens is that the price goes quickly up to 35 dollars what is going to happen again uh, spend a few moments think about it and then i will tell you the answer My friends, what you have told your broker is that once the stop price is reached, the broker should buy at a price of 31 or below. So you have specified a limit price here. But then what is happening is 
that the price rather than um, um, falling it continues to go up and goes up to $35 very quickly. So what is going to happen is that your uh, order cannot be executed because the price does not fall below 31 at all. So what you are going to find is that you are stuck in a position where you have to still cover your position at $35 and take the loss. Um, we have another question here. You place a limit order to sell at $57 or above immediately, but there are no corresponding buyers. The question is what type of order did you place and what happens to it? And the answer is going to be pretty obvious because you uh, placed an order which was meant to be filled immediately. And since this was a limit order, so any limit order that is meant to be filled immediately and if it can't be filled immediately, it needs to be cancelled. In this case, it can't be filled because there are no corresponding buyers. So what is going to happen to your order is that it can't be executed and the order that you placed was the fill or kill order. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this was helpful for you. You take care and have fun. Bye-bye.